Good morning. Okay, we're going to read from Luke 14, 7 through 11. When Jesus noticed that all who had come to the dinner were trying to sit in the seats of honor near the hand of the head of the table, he gave them this advice. When you're invited to a wedding feast, don't sit in the seat of honor. What if someone who's more distinguished than you has also been invited? The host will come and say, give this person your seat. Instead, take the lowest place at the foot of the table. Then, when your host sees you, he will come and say, friend, we have a better place for you. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So if you heard the message from this past Sunday, and I hope you did, um, I hope you were listening when Pastor Roy asked us to be humble. We need to have humility as we ask questions. We need to have humility as we listen to those answers. We need to have humility as we allow God to grow us through the answers of others' lived experiences. I would argue that humility and faith really go hand in hand. See, when the humble guest sits out of the way of honor in the verses we just read, they're operating with the faith that the host finds favor with them, no matter where they happen to be sitting. Okay? So can we let this picture give us the understanding that even when those we might not deem deserving of the honorable seats sit in front of us, that desire for fairness will fall away uh, if we're secure that we're inherently valued. And how do we know that? Because rank and relationship don't coexist. Okay, rank is transactional. It's bought with achievement or power. Relationship transcends everything. Relationship knows that the seat placement actually never mattered at all. Okay? And that relationship, that faith, it not only comes from our experiences, but it also originates from our belief that the host invited everyone. That's what makes us a Christian. Not that we believe that there's a table. Not that we believe that there's food on the table or that the food is even good. That what makes us a Christian is that we believe that the host's nature is good. And that he already invited everyone to the table anyway. And the gospel in action is where we get to go out and invite others to come in and sit at the table. So this is why the church in large part has become a hotbed of complacency and confirmation bias. Yeah, I said it. Aren't you glad you stuck around? It's because the gospel somehow became about the food and not so much about the guests. So Jesus goes on in the following verses talking uh, about a man who held a banquet, and these people came up with all kinds of excuses not to come. Oh, I just got married. I just got five pairs of oxen. I got to go try them out. Uh, it became about the food, because we can get food anywhere, right? So the servant was sent out to get anyone he could find. The poor, the blind, people who couldn't walk, the disenfranchised, right? Right? And he kept going out time after time because he was excited that these disenfranchised, these others, had a seat, not only at an amazing banquet, but with an incredible host. And we can stay humble because we have to remember that it's not about us. It's about the other. And then we get to be part of their journey as they encounter the one who loves So put in action, what does that look like for you this week? Thanks for listening.